Hey man, it's Winter Nation. It's not the end of the year yet, but it's coming up to the end of the summer of 2023. And I think it's a good time now to uh, recap all that we did this year. And I keep saying it. I did more in 2023 covering events than 2018 and 2019 combined. So... Uh, Let's start from the top. Festival Accès Asie in May. The Grand Poutine Fest and Fun Show Amusement that went to, to the malls in the spring as well, in May and June. Uh, then we had the Montreal Jazz Festival with Francofolie de Montréal. We had... Uh, actually, no. We didn't. We missed Marco and Francofolie, but we made up for it at uh, Festival Nuit d'Afrique. We had the uh, St. Nicholas Greek Festival in uh, July, in June rather, We had in Greek Orthodox Church in Laval. We had uh, the Rumiliadis uh, Souvlaki Festival in June, June 16th to be exact, in Park X at the new, newly uh, inaugurated Dickie Moore Park on Beaumont. And uh, also we had... The uh, Laval Greek Festival in July at the Holy Cross. We had um, recently, we just did yesterday, we did uh, the uh, MAD Festival, uh, Mud Art Diversité, but we like to call it Montreal's Fashion Festival, uh, Mud and Design. Uh, we also did New Tech Montreal, the music festival, electronic music festival. Just now, we did the Laconian Brotherhood Suvlaki Festival on Park Avenue and uh, St. Happiness Festival in Park X. We also did the uh, Hellenic Flame Festival last week as well in Park X. Uh, what else? Tea. I think that's plenty. If I missed out uh, some... Oh, yes, of course, local parties. Melanie Jolie uh, annual family picnic and also uh, Ville Saint Laurent festival celebrating Ville Saint Laurent and uh, yeah so that's it that's 90% more than 2018 and 2019 combined so thank you Montreal for supporting Emmanuel's Montreal and keep it locked here because moving forward we're going to continue to search out great events of lifestyle and entertainment in Montreal, and maybe sometimes even beyond.